the 16-year-old Chandler Smith leading the way. We're green at Iowa. Infinger slotting into that second spot. He's going to have a little company right beside him by Matt Crafton in the 88, the teammate. Didn't that take long to go three wide? Wouldn't we get to turn one before we went three wide? Chandler, I mean, uh, the two truck. Jeldon Creed made a nice yeah, move around there. the top and made it work. There you see Crafton using that high lane as well to clear Grant Infinger and bring along Iowa's Brett Moffitt with him. So they can oh, run him down. This could be a game changer. Oh, and the caution is out, and it's Gonzalez again for the second time in the 10. I think this opens us up for some strategy here. The guys that aren't that worried about stage points. I think even if you want stage points with only 17 trucks right now on the lead lap. Top would belong to the 51 of Chandler Smith, who came <laughs> in and they addressed his radio issues, but I believe they've finally got it taken care of. So Chandler Smith can now hear uh, the spotter and crew chief. He's going to be fun to watch now. The fastest on pit road was the 30 of Brendan Poole. <laughs> he got caught speeding. <laughs> so it's Matt Crafton on the outside and his teammate Grant Infinger on the inside as they take the green two to go in stage one. Look at Johnny Sauter. Sauter on the outside, the third lane. Can he make it work? Thor's three wide. Teammates, three wide. <laughs> And right behind him is the other teammate. And look at Chastain all the way from 19th to contend for this stage win. Ooh, Johnny a little bit loose up against the wall. One to go in stage one. Sauter at the front. Crafton trying to battle back inside. Reed on the bottom of the racetrack trying to get by Rhodes and Infinger. Crafton back in front. Sauter digging. You don't think this stage means something? Look at Sauter to the bottom and now Ross Chastain up top. Coming to the line, it's going to be Chastain from third to first to win stage one. Wow. <laughs> Did we tell you how great the racing here is in <laughs> Iowa? That was incredible. Ross Chastain around the top. And that was going to be a little more comfortable coming to the line, but it will be a stage two victory for Ross Chastain. The fourth time this season, the drivers swept both stages. And a nice little battle here. I tell you, I enjoyed his win of stage one much better. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, and there is Sauter. So we just saw Sauter move the 16 of Austin Hill. I would, I would guess that there probably was some contact that precipitated this. A payback, possibly. Was running in the seventh position. We talked about Johnny not finishing in the top 10 the last three races make it four events We got to go back to the 2015 season the last time that happened for Johnny Sauter four straight outside the top 10 Well, let's see we saw Sauter move Hill Hill repaying the favor and put Sauter in the wall Yeah, there's no question that I'm sure Austin Hill didn't like the way that uh, That he got sent down into turn number one and, this is, and live. this is live, so Sauter has just now wrecked Austin Hill. Well, that's not going to go over well. No, I think they'll be they'll park Sauter for that. Yes, indeed. So here is Sauter coming back to get Hill after Hill had moved Johnny and put Johnny into the wall. I think the I think Johnny Sauter's day is done. Yes, he is being sent to the garage. NASCAR said that's enough. I think the NASCAR hauler will be full of people after this race. And we're walking now live with Johnny. Johnny, prepared to hear from NASCAR? Johnny Sauter not wanting to talk right now. Walked out of the infield care center. Appears to be all right, but walked right past all the microphones. Not much to say after that. Obviously, the pretty obvious what happened and so Johnny really upset no sense of commenting on that I would think well in those situations sometimes what you say is just going to make it worse and if he can finish the job here that win would push him ever closer to a guaranteed spot in the playoffs I don't think in his wildest dreams he would have thought it would have come this quick after making that decision 
Winning is always special, no matter where you do it. Winning on Father's Day, a little bit more significant. But winning the Triple Truck Challenge and 50 grand ultra special for Ross Chastain. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Help. You guys. Good job, Help. You guys. Take care of that thing, that's her. Thank you so much. Oh my God! I'll Take care of that motor. How special are those tears of joy? You could just hear he was so emotional in that truck. Phil Gould, crew chief, did it again. Well done, Hermie. And for more on that, let's check in with Alan. Nice comeback for Austin Hill after Johnny Sauter tried to end his day. We saw what almost ended it. What started it, and how do you want to deal with it? Uh, I mean, it's hard to race with that guy, but uh, we were racing hard. Um, getting into turn one, we uh, he got into me a little bit, and um, you know, I, I kind of returned, returned the favor. Um, I don't, I don't race like that. So, um, if you're if you're gonna race me like that and try to, you know, take me out, I guess he was mad from Texas last week. I don't know, but. Um, I'm not going to put up with it, um, and I, I think you've uh, seen that today. Um, I just um, I try to race everybody clean, but um, when they race you like that, I don't put up with it. But I uh, can't thank Arco enough for coming on board. We, we had a good truck. Um, definitely could have finished top ten. I don't, I don't know if we would have had anything for um, the top five. They were, they were pretty gone. But I uh, can't thank Toyota TRD enough, uh, all of our partners for everything they do, um, Scott and those guys in the Shiggy there. They're uh, really good at what they do, and, and um, you know I'm, I'm glad I'm able to run the 16 truck. But uh, we'll just move on. I, I have better things to worry about than the 13 truck. Um, you know I'm more focused on uh, the championship, so we're just going to keep working and uh, see uh, see what happens. You want to address this with Johnny? I, I mean, if he if he wants to come talk to me about it, uh, he can. But um, it won't be nice words. Hermy. Victory Lane. Here is Ross Chastain for the second time in the 2019 season but this one is even bigger than the last as provided he gets in the top 20 in points it will allow him an opportunity to race for a championship doing his best gallagher impersonation here in victory lane where you at boy these guys victory lane you can tell these race wins mean so much Kyle Benjamin here to congratulate. Ross, I talked to your crew chief. The last one meant a lot. They all mean a lot to all these drivers, but this one, provided you get in the top 20 in points, which you got 14 more points to go, this one puts you in an opportunity to race for a championship. How is your team making all this happen? They're just so good. Um, it all starts with GMS fabrication. They give us good, good baselines, and we take it from there. And Man, these guys are so good. They make the race trucks go so fast. Um, you, you know what it's like when you have race trucks and race cars like this. Um, nothing else matters. And this is what every race car driver in the world's working for is opportunities like this. And when this opportunity came up to, to go full time with True North and Paul Jr. Designs and Al Nees and Miss Lou, sorry you guys aren't here. We want another one. Um, but my dad's here. And, it just it means the world to get this opportunity um, and, just, and for, for True North and Kirk. Um, thank you so much, sir. Uh, he came on board on Monday and he's went to his office. He's like, what do we got to do to get you into this championship? And he sponsored us to come here. And it's, uh, it's a dream come true. Now, as much as I know you like talking to me in victory lane, Brandon Degoski with NASCAR has got something I think that maybe excites you a little bit more. Brandon. Ross, congratulations on winning the uh, M&M's 200 presented by the Casey's General Store here at Iowa Speedway. And I'm happy to present you this $50,000 for winning today's stage in the Triple Truck Challenge. And next week at, at, at uh, Worldwide Technology Speedway at Gateway, it's a tough one to say, um, you get a chance for another 50 plus a $50,000 bonus. Awesome. Well, um, you know, can't thank M&M's and everybody at Casey's General Store enough, but um, they might like the candy man. But the Mellow Man won today, baby. Mellow Man Challenge. <laughs> Well, there he is, 50,000 with a lot more on the line next week at Gateway, Vince. Oh.